So, hi everybody. Today on this podcast, Ben here, Rainy there. We talk about sad stuff <laughs> on the journals of awakening. <laughs> on the journals of awakening. It's not always exciting and happy, you know. No, it's all real life, and we got to talk about things that actually happen. So, what happened just recently, Rainy? I'll let you get into it. So, on December nineteenth, on December's a couple days ago, yeah, my mom has a dog. She's got six of them. One of them's just, uh, wants to play with everything. And he chose to play with my mom's cat as a toy. Which is what I think happened. But the cat's 15. The cat's 15 years old. I've had him since I was nine. It's when we adopted him. And he had a friend when we adopted him. And oh, yeah. How old was he when he was nine when you adopted him? How old was the cat? A baby baby. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Nice. Okay. So this is the family cat since you were nine years old. Yeah, his name is Tiggles. Tiggles. And Tiggles has a name. Um. One day, he got out of the house. And he was gone for uh, almost four months. We thought he was gone forever. We checked every shelter. We posted it everywhere, like even in paper. And he, two months after we kind of stopped trying, we got a call saying that they found Barney which was his shelter name when we adopted him. Which and is because of the chip in his back, right? Yes, because That's he crazy. he wandered off maybe a block or two. The scariest part is however he got there. He wandered off maybe a block or two. But it was a very busy highway, so it was just, you know, wild how he made it. Yeah, you just figured there's no way. Yeah, and yeah. then um, and then there was a, a vet or a nurse or somebody who feed did, who fed... <laughs> The stray cats at that ho at the hotels there regularly. Mm -hmm. And one day she noticed this particular stray that she had never seen before, and he had two collars on. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say he probably didn't even look stray, huh? It's probably, he looked probably like plump. he had been out. Oh, he was. Thin? He looked like yeah. Oh, he looked man. like he was missing. Poor guy. So um, she takes him to the shelter. They scan him, and my mom never changed her number. So four months later, they it's call crazy. her. Yeah, and we'd already had him for like five years or so. And uh, then four months later, they call and say that they found him. And she just starts crying on the phone. She's super excited. We go, we pick him up, we take him home. Obviously, yeah. Takes him a while to reacclimate himself, but, you know, right. he attaches himself right back to my mom. And now I'm okay, thanks. Uh, so he was a miracle cat when he was five. Fast forward 10 years later, you know, I moved out of the house. I, I adopted this cat when I was 9, let's remember. And I didn't move out until I was 18. So that's well over half his life that I was in his life. And uh, he got bitten, bit, by my mom's dog. At 15 years old. Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. So for a cat of that age. Yeah, and it was a very freak accident. Um, and it's a, it's a pit bull to boot. Like... Not saying anything about pit bulls. I'm just saying they got a strong. They're big. Bike. They got yeah, bite they're and huge. They got muscle, you know. Like. And he was one of those like big, chunky hit pit bulls. Yeah. I'm kind of scared of him just because of how big. Uh, no he is. kidding. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Like, <laughs> so, anyway, my mom called me to help her make a decision on how we continue with his life. And one so we decided that hardest he, choices you'll ever have to make. Yeah, right? and we decided that if we put him through surgery if he even made it through surgery he'd have a very miserable life uh, at 15 and that's the only thing that stopped us with that he was 15 he can't like readapt and so you know we made that decision kind of together obviously she made the final call but but they put him down yeah and um obviously it's very hard because that was my mom's batman like her lap cat yeah. Her, he followed her everywhere. He was always there next yeah. to her. So she's talking about Batman, our cat. <laughs> yeah, he's always here. He's he's <coughs> the most affectionate cat to both of us equally. And he um, definitely loves her more though. <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> but she's just crying, saying, you know, she's not ready for yeah. him to go. His heart goes out to her. That's, as that's she's hard. bringing him to the vet, she's telling him goodbye if she has to, and that she's not ready for this. Yeah. And we have old cats, so this is like really hard. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, 
When I think about it too much, I cry. Mm-hmm. You're like making me tear up. This is not. Cool. I know. <laughs> When I think about it, I say the name Tiggles out loud and then have to remind myself that he's not here and that doesn't seem right because I saw him on Thanksgiving and he let me pet him. Well, and he was super alive then and so he was just... That's great that you got to see him so recently before. And you know, he let me pet him. And he let you pet him. Yeah, That's which he hadn't do. done in <laughs> years. And all of a sudden one day he just felt like... He's like, I know that energy. Yeah, he could <laughs> let me pet him and he was happy about it. He didn't let me. He Ooh. affectionated me. And then tell the people what our kids Oh yeah, and then later that night... All of a sudden, like, three cats jump on the bed right after each other and come and sit around me. And Rainy's obviously mourning her cat, you know what I mean? So, so the cats, like, sensed it. It was bizarre. And that obviously Tiggles was coming to tell me goodbye, you know, yeah, to say, energy. Yeah. because he could tell that I was with him. Yeah, for the a long cats time. were probably here to help translate the energy. Yeah. Like, like, do you feel the love? Because you were getting, you were surrounded. They were cuddling all over and you. And when you think <laughs> about it, the only people who have probably pet tickles are me, and my mom, and my brother. You know, he didn't. My mom doesn't bring a lot of people over or anything. And yeah, he, I honestly yeah. can't say I, I have no tickles. I exactly. Know. So I may have been pointed to him once, but that's it. So uh, it was. It's pretty incredible. He let me pet him, and then he <laughs> came and said goodbye to me through the energies of the other cats and that was um very moving for me because all of a sudden i didn't realize it and then all of a sudden i did yeah and you know i didn't have to think about it it was it was like when the car overheated yeah oh i, I just, know it's just like instinct. i just sat there and all of a sudden i was like oh my god out. i'm like what and it's barely moving up yeah, i'm like what so How with the know? cats i just like <laughs> yeah i'm petting them and then i look and i'm like oh my god they're he's obviously here with me saying goodbye because the cats don't normally do that. Maybe and it wasn't shopping. even cats that really like each other. Right. I, you know. Oh, they don't even know each other, right? Yeah. No, they no. do know each other. Mog Indy and, Indy. and Bravo. They're the oh. Indy, Bravo, and Batman. No, I was, I'm sorry, I was talking about Tiggles. Oh. I thought that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he, he knew Mog, right? And Indy. And Indy, so yes, they already knew. So he might have been here to say goodbye to them. Yeah, that too. That's and crazy. And they were sad, so they came to you. Yeah. <laughs> you and never know. But either way, I feel Tiggles' energy was here, and it's glad. I'm glad that you guys got to say goodbye at least. And it feels like... Fifteen's not an incredibly short life for a cat, so at least he got to live a nice life. You yeah, know? and it was a freak accident. He would have lived a lot longer. He was fine. And um, But I do think that he came and said goodbye fairly soon. Like I feel like he's moving on. Yep. To That's good too. Going yeah, next. not going to be a lingering lost energy kind of thing. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yep. And uh, so, I think that anytime you lose a pet, it's really difficult. I've lost a couple in my life, a couple really, really meaningful ones. I, I had to put my dog asleep on our back porch at my mom's house. My mom's like, "Do you remember when Trixie died?" And I said, "Oh, incredibly vividly." <laughs> like right. I, well, yeah. you know, and. Uh, I can picture a few dogs' deaths in my day. My mom and I were kind of estranged when my childhood cat Spacey passed. Mm. That was pretty hard on me. So I have her ashes because it was hard on me. And then Bluebell was a huge one. Yep. But I just keep getting younger with the names because then Daisy passed. And that was the first heartbreak for me because Miss Kitty died. That was my mom's cat, but I didn't like her because she hit me all the time. And I had a daisy as well. I loved that we both had a daisy cat. Mine hey, was black and white. Yours was a cat. Mine was a dog. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Mine was black and white. Was it black and white? <laughs> she was white. She was fluffy. Oh. Yeah, and uh... And then what? What cat hit you? Bluebell. Bluebell hit you? Uh-huh. <laughs> no, Miss Kitty. Miss Kitty hit, hit She you. hit okay. me. She... I mean, I was a kid. It was like Batman hitting the boy. I just think that anytime we lose an animal, it's a huge shock um it's a family member yeah and i the experience of a person hasn't really not heavily struck me before um but every time i lose a family or a family member cat wise it's really sad and i don't know how to like figure it out and then i dream about them for like ever and um yeah, I don't know. Huh? Animals are hard to lose. <laughs> I mean, that was just... Uh, it's an experience. 
They provide so much love. I'm freaking petrified of the experience coming, you know? Yeah, that's true, but unconditional love, that's what they provide, and it makes it difficult. I have had Iggy since she was born, basically. Well, since she was able to come off of her mom, and she was a runt, and she's like 18 now. 17, 18. Yeah, she's just about 18. Can you imagine, bro? She's been in my life the entire time. 